What is up? Up inside one of these Marlin piece of shit towers. I hate these things. The design is shite. There's water where you walk in through the door. There's no railing down there. And you have to do things like stick chairs down there. Look at the fucking corrosion on this. This is like a six-year-old tower. And it's worse than like 10, 15-year-old ones. I don't know if... All the acid in the water or what? And look at that. It's supposed to like... Changing what they call the transmissions. with these bearing sections here. It's shot, you know. As I uh, noticed last year... I think this one we wrote up like over a year ago and they went all last summer on just the one fan and this one and then went in the other tower but now they let it get so freaking run down and now it's almost summertime and we're finally fixing it so trying to cut through the shaft because this is going to just be a nightmare to take off i just found out they didn't order new pulley and hardware you know, only the transmission bearing section so looks like we're going to be fighting this all day Got to do both of these. That one's not as bad because it looks like it's been apart before. But this one here, part of the original one in the tower, it's nasty. I got most of the way through that shaft. Blade is dull. Waiting for my coworker who's not here yet. Those rusted ass bolts. There's no way those nuts are coming off yeah. of that. No way. We're gonna have to snap. torch these off or something. Yep. Or oh shit. Yep, try to put impacted stuff on there. So far, no good. I'm going to have to cut it. But see that other one over there? Somebody's already changed it. So and look at the threads are just night and day better. So that one, we get over there, probably just come off. Probably should get the WD. Have them grab WD-40. He's already coming off. Where is it? Uh, it's in my side bin. But this over here, this is fucked. Hey, Everything is fucked. Now I have these transmissions down on the ground and we're trying to get the fans off we just cut the bolts on that but that just leaves threads you can't pull out same thing here look there is seriously nothing left of these bolt heads to put anything on there's no way to get these out the only thing i do is cut them to separate it but that there then there's still rusted fucking bolts in the freaking aluminum hub there There's no way. We got screwed on this deal, and it's a freaking Friday. <laughs> this is the uh, hub pulled out of the pulley. Look at the corrosion on there. That shaft is <laughs> seized to this freaking tapered hub. Look at that. Even the Woodruff key, it's just still corroded. There's Even if you could get these two pieces to separate... To separate who the hell would even think of using this part again fuck this is the kind of shit i have to do to get it done so uh all the bolts seized in the aluminum pulley and in the aluminum hub for the fan so i got someone getting a tap and drill so we can move it over and just put three new holes got it all cleaned up clean the inside there real good all the old studs there broken off into the aluminum there ain't using it again right there so I just ground those down because that steel is one with that aluminum <laughs> ain't coming out for shit man so the local supply house didn't have uh, any pulleys or any of these uh hubs for us the tapered hubs oh man i got those holes a little crooked it looks like ah, it's not too bad but drilled and tapped new holes right there's the old hole it's all uh, corroded there <laughs> yeah the old rusted bolt ain't coming out of there so put new ones in there so ready for the fan blade now man these things are a pain in the arse it's after five o'clock i think and just got home from an ass kicker of a job on that cooling tower that I uh, didn't get a chance to take any more video on, but we got the one fan running. For a while, we didn't think we were going to get that thing back up, and that means our whole cooling tower was down, and the other cooling tower they have there is down because the motor just took a shit, so this was, uh, was a bad day. Frustrating, so we got it done. It felt pretty accomplished, though, when we got that back up and running. The last hour or so went smoothly. 
uh, when we drilled and tapped and just put it together after most of the day we just fought everything so anyway just got home and at least relish on this little added little gadget here bolts and amps so I don't have to hook my meter up every day I don't know how accurate that thing is it seemed pretty close within an amp just a little cheap Amazon thing so if I'm plugging my solar here see the I notice it's a little slow to respond to that seven amps DC power off. I'm gonna plug it in. You'll see the amps go down. The amps. Get that just right. Camera the sync with the LED. So 243 volts, four amps. Yeah. So uh, right now my electronics that I was working on is all just neutered and disconnected. Um, somebody's talking about the capacitor. You know. The voltage being too high. Well, this capacitor comes off an LG board that's made for 208 or 230 volt input. You get about 330 volts. When it's not running and the solar's hooked up, it goes up to like 360. But 400 working volts right there. Same exact capacitor, except for I I'd used soldering paste for pipe, and I think it was it was all smeared on the top of it. I think it actually conducted and like I don't know it had some weird avalanche effect and got that little plasma explosion it had boom so anyway it's not well actually the capacitor is still in the loop just have the ac power and the triac and the rectifier is all disconnected because it's shorted out so on to the next revision of that so it's just back to the way it was where it's just ac is going to the vfd vfd rectifies it internally and charges the capacitor bus and then I have the solar power going to that DC bus and at best, you know, not too hot. I think this, this, the voltage is going a little higher. You know, it's pulling a little more off the solar than the, than the utility when it's only on first stage. But it still never turns off the utility. So at best, it might be doing 50 to 60% solar when the sun's up. So it helps. It's just... My solar panels are capable of running that compressor entirely. So, I still want to get my voltage regulator thing working right. So, I'll keep plugging along with that. But anyway, again, ass kicker of a job. I'm glad to be home.